hey, you're trying to decide between real estate or insurance, maybe I'm gonna sway you. Maybe you're eventually gonna make tons of money because you watch this video, all right? Stay with me, okay? We have several different insurance companies, all right? We're even adding an acquisitions company where we're buying profitable insurance agencies. And I wanna talk about why insurance versus real estate so you can make the right decision, okay? Number one, okay, number one is, dude, insurance is recession proof, right? People are, the, the housing market can go up, it can go down, everything can change. I also just moved into, into this uh, uh, new office, okay? So I wanna show you around as I talk, all right? Um, because in real estate, you never know what's gonna happen to the housing market, right? You never have to happen to mortgage and the stock market and everything else, right? Insurance, dude, it's recession proof, it's always here. I know people that made way more money during COVID than actually the other way around, right? And I don't believe that was the same in the housing market, okay? So not only, not only recession proof, right? Also, dude, I've got the ability to go make sales immediately, okay? And, and I don't have to just like go buy from my friends and family. Now, the cool thing about insurance though is it's actually, I would say that it's more difficult than real estate. Boom, I said it. But I believe it's more difficult, but there's also more millionaires in our industry than the real estate industry, which means there's more freaking opportunity for money and growth and scaling an operation. And if you're like, dude, I wanna scale something special. I wanna do something big. And I wanna make sure that I make a lot of money long-term and I have flexibility and I'm able to build something that pays me residually forever. Dude, you can't do that in real estate. You can do that in insurance, okay? Super profitable, crazy, tons of money. I love it. We've got seven different insurance companies now doing over $10 million a year. And I'm obsessed, man. I mean, my story, okay, my story is that I got started as I walk over to the couch and, and, and take a seat, okay, is that um, when I was 20 years old, I decided to become a full-time insurance agent. Okay, we're about to hang a basketball goal because I'm a basketball guy. We don't have that, we don't have that hung up yet though, okay? Um, I got started in the insurance industry at, at 19 as an intern making cold calls for veteran agents, okay? I quickly transitioned at 20 years old I'm going out cold calling, cold door knocking, doing whatever it takes. Dude, I made $117,000 at 20 years old while playing basketball, right? While playing basketball, while going to school and flipping, reading books and writing essays and doing all this other, having to attend class, all this other fun stuff. And I did that because I joined insurance, man. I was a part of insurance. Like it doesn't get any better. Like we're looking at a beach house and a plane right now because I joined the insurance industry a decade ago. I'm 30 now, right? And I am telling you, it's the best decision I ever made. I'm gonna personally mentor you and help you and make sure that this little endeavor of you getting in the insurance industry freaking pays off, all right? Because you're like, dude, should I do in real estate or should I do insurance? You gotta do insurance, trust me. It doesn't get any better. It's the best career on planet Earth. And, and, and I get it, right? You're not going to career day as a kid saying, dude, I, I, I'm like, I wanna be an insurance agent. It's sexy, I love it, I'm excited. I wanna go sell insurance to everyone. Nobody does that. I didn't do it either. But I can tell you, once you freaking taste it, once you taste the ice cream, man, it's gonna, like, you're gonna be like, dude, I, want, I wanna fill the bowl, man. Cause it, it gets so good and you start stacking paper and cash long-term by building up this book of business depending on the product you sell, that pays you forever, right? Like I didn't know, I wish I would have known, the stuff I'm telling you right now, I wish I would have known 10 years ago. I, I mean, because what we've built, yeah, it's taken, I, I sold for about seven years, been building this whole like brand to help insurance agents from a training, marketing and event side over the last five years. I've been putting up content on YouTube since December of 2015 and I wish I would have started in, I mean, I, I wish I'd have just really known what I know now, right? Hindsight's 2020, you don't know everything, but I can tell you the things that you need to know is it's recession proof. You can scale and get paid really quick, right? A lot of times in real estate, you gotta wait 90 days to six months to receive your first check. That happens all the time, by the way, okay? Unless you're gonna sell your, your flipping family right away, okay? Now that that's, right? How, and also, it's something where I can get residual income and get paid forever, boom. It's also easier to actually start to build a team, recruit, get paid off of other people. Like a gift of mine is, is freaking building a team, 
and helping other people and, and taking the complex insurance game, making it simple, and then spending time with them and helping them be successful. Like the time I'm spending with you right now, helping you be successful. Okay, like, like that, that's the kind of thing you do in the insurance industry where you gotta be in the real estate game for at least two years before you can become a broker, before you start building a team and you gotta have an office, all this other stuff, right? That's not true with insurance. You, and you can sell whatever product you want, any state you want, virtually. Like it's hard to go sell a house in Maine when you live in Missouri. I can go sell insurance in Maine right now, right? Like I can start to build something special. Okay, so you gotta think about what, but the question to you is, what do you want long term? What do you want out of this little deal? Okay, as, as I show off my little uh, apersonation pop socket, I need, to put a, I need to put a new one on that. Uh, it's, it's getting a little worn out. Um, that's a conference that we throw for the insurance industry that is focused on helping. We're, we're, we're one of the few that actually threw a conference in, during COVID in 2020 because we believe in the power of events. The in, the, 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 a lot of the insurance industry events, Okay, when you think about real estate or insurance, the reason we actually started this event, 8% Nation, 92% of insurance agents fell in their first three years. And most of the freaking industry conferences are so boring. And when you think about real estate or insurance, you're probably right now sub 35 years old. Guaranteed. Okay, not everybody watching this will be, but I'm telling you, a lot of them will be. Otherwise, you know, you get older, you get a career, etc. A lot of the industry conference are boring. This is the most exciting, most fun, most transformational, most hip, and most focused on helping you be better in the insurance space. Okay, so when, as I've pretty much sold you on joining insurance, yes or yes, okay, you're sold, dude, I'm not getting real, I'm not getting a real estate license, I'm joining insurance, don't wanna make money forever and have complete control. Now, how do you become successful? Which is why we've got 2,000 YouTube videos up and growing as we add this one today to help you succeed, right? And the biggest thing, like if you're like, okay, what, what, would be the, what would be the barriers to entry? How would I fail at selling insurance? Well, the biggest thing is, dude, you, you, the biggest thing is prospecting. A lot of insurance agents struggle because they struggle to get in front of people, okay? That's the biggest barrier to entry you're gonna have. If you watch all of our stuff, we give you ways to solve that. We've got an entire marketing company that manages close to $2 million a month now in ads with 50 staff and a second building here in Springfield, Missouri. It's helping you get in front of people, right? Because once you start to get in front of people, figure out the prospecting game, the lead game, the marketing piece, then boom, I gotta know how to sell them, right? How do I follow up? What do I say? What's the script? What's the objections? How do I ask them to do it now? How do I build rapport? How do I fact find? How do I try to close? How do I create engagement? How do I get them to sign on the line which is dotted, right? You do that by getting really good at sales, okay? So I'm gonna give you three basics. If you're like, okay, I wanna get really good at insurance sales and I'll make a ton of money. Because I guarantee you, you f follow us long enough, you, you find the right spot in the industry, you can make six figures. No question about it. However, when you get in the industry, when you're in front of people, the sales thing, right? You gotta ask good questions. Most people ask questions like, are you interested in this? What do you think? Like dumb questions, man. Ask good questions and then listen. People that ask good questions and listen have a better chance of being successful than those that don't, okay? Gift of gab is a curse. Listen, okay? After you listen, then relationship. That's the third one, man. You gotta be, if you're good at building rapport and relationships and people trust you, you will go far in the insurance industry. The days of like hard closing somebody and all this other stuff, man, it's over, right? Like I, I don't need to hard close people to close more people than the hard closer. I just don't. Right, because I'm committed to building a relationship. Also, you want to build rapport, you want people to trust you? Guess what? Ask good questions and listen. That's the fastest way to gain trust, people to believe you, to build rapport, and for all this thing to change, right? If you keep watching our channel, I don't have time right now, I've got a, I've got a webinar at, at five o'clock in 35 minutes, okay? We've got multiple buildings, multiple companies, all in Springfield, Missouri. I'd love for you to eventually come here and spend some time with us. Maybe you'll come to our 1% Mastermind, maybe our 8% Nation Conference, maybe one of our retreats, maybe one of our trainings, maybe one of our free webinars, right? Like we're constantly doing, I'm committed to helping you succeed. Okay, real estate or insurance, I think we've solved that one. Insurance, also though, once you decide, we are putting out more content for the insurance industry space than anyone on the planet, which means we care about you the most. We wanna see you succeed. And so we're gonna keep putting out content, okay? Because the best way, right? I was interviewing Brian Tracy 
as I close up, I was interviewing Brian Tracy a week ago. Um, he's 77. He doesn't do in-person events anymore. He does virtual events. And I was just interviewing him. And he said his golden triangle to success, his third tip for his golden triangle of success, his number three, was commit yourself to continued learning. So I want to challenge you that when you choose insurance, you don't get an ego, you realize you can keep learning, and you can commit yourself to continued learning. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Rule number seven, sales on autopilot. What I love about having, like, like the coolest thing, and I think every company has to have this, by the way, in every company forever, and what most people don't do, that's such low-hanging fruit that I'm a...